Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and welcome to episode 19 of my uh, Traveller's Notebook with Record Fawn series. This is the last book one, uh, it's the last video in this series, it is going up on Friday. So sad times but happy times because there's plenty more um, videos coming your way from Traveller's Notebooks to hauls to unboxings to scrapbook layouts to happy mail so that's something new that is coming very shortly um a few videos on that so i am literally down to the dregs of my kit and i am determined to not have to um, dip into my stash because i want to show you that those final few bits are still useful you can still create something with very little so um, in this one here, I've just backed the back of the um, the page before. So that was the last layout that I did. Um, and this notebook is um, exclusively going to be for photographs from 2019. Because um, I popped that 2019 wood veneer on the front of the insert. Now I have these washi strips left. Um, I've done pretty well using up what I had. Um, but I've still got the odd bits left here. So... This is a technique that I've done before um, on a scrapbook page and um, this, I think I did it in my Washi Wednesday series actually. Um, yeah, this is a great way to be able to use up um, those little bits of washi tape that you have left. So all I'm doing is just sticking them down to some white cardstock and then I'm punching them out. It's as simple as that. And it creates these little, that's a two inch punch. It creates these little embellishments um, for me to be able to use on my page, my layout. So I'm just working my way through um, the washi strips that I've got left, just alternating colours and patterns. And then just punching them out. I do three of these in the end. And I've used washies from, these are from two different um, monthly embellishment kits, but they seem to work fine. So I'm using them. So, yeah, that's two of them. So I'm just going to do one more. Uh, I am required to let you know that these products have been supplied to me by Freckled Form. Technically, this video makes it... Um, this makes this video an ad. But, hey. I need to let you know that. Otherwise, I get in trouble. Um... The link, I will let you know as well, the link to the Freckled Fawn shop is in the description box down below. There is a discount code that is going to end um, on Friday, which is $10 off a $30 order. Um, and the details are in the description box down below. So if you want to take advantage of that before that offer runs out, then, um, yep, yeah, just have a look and it's all in the linkies down below for you so <clears throat> whilst I was chatting away about that um, I've just finished that third one and originally I was going to stagger the circles um, on that white piece of cardstock as you see here uh, I do decide to move them in the end and actually make them uh, straight vertically down and I'm just having a look through um, the bits and pieces that I've got left so I've got a few labels left and then I remembered that I had um, some wood veneers um, some little houses and this layout is about my dog and um, sitting in her favourite well when I'm in the dining room this is her favourite seat um, to come and sit at and I thought because it's a picture about something about being at home then um, I thought we'd use those um, they'd work thematically well so I'm really struggling for paper I've used it all um, I was too quick to to sort of crack in and <laughs> get loads of it used early on so what I'm doing here is I'm actually repurposing um, some of the packaging uh, it's got la um, like a lattice design on you can see that's the back of the packaging. So, and that's my ATG running out. So, yeah, so I'm just using that to um, create a layer behind my photo. 
and it works really well and then the other layer there is just an off cut of um one of the pre-cut inserts um so i'd obviously use the other half in another in another layout and i just kept hold of the um the scrap because i knew it'd come in handy at some stage this is where i move those circles about and atg tape is very forgiving like this so i just pull them up and just wiggle them around a bit and although you can see um the other layout from the other side through the vellum i don't find it distracting to um really bother me i um, and equally the other side of the um when you look at the other side of the layout you don't see anything from the back apart from once the book's closed and obviously through the vellum you might see a little bit of the layout on the right but again that's that's really not going to bother me so that's those three wood veneer houses and i've just used um some wet tacky glue for those so next up i'm going to add in the rest of or m most of the rest of the washi tape that i've used so the same washi tape that i've used in the circles I'm just going to pull over to the right hand side as well to help pull the two sides in together. They do coordinate anyway because some of the washi that's um, on the left is actually the same as what's on that journal, that um, card that's on the right of the photo. Um, but I thought whilst I've got these little leftover bits of washi that I would actually get them used up. Now I'm going to use this black word that says here. And then I had to figure out um, what, how, what, what the rest, how my rest of the rest of my title was going to go. I wasn't just going to use the word here. So I keep pulling these black alphas out. I just love these black ones. Um, but you can see here that I, I don't have um, many. I don't know if I got. I've got I's and O's and a couple of U's left, but I've got no A's. I've, I've got one A. I've got no E's. I just can't seem to make any other. Uh, titles work with them at the moment I've used all the Y's um, I've got a million Q's left which is always the way um, so I'm going to have to think of a way to be able to use those up so yeah that's the rest of the washi just coming in there up the at the top and yeah this is my little dog this is Treacle and she was just sat on, on the cushion in, in the chair resting her head on the side and I just grabbed a grabbed a photo before she moved I just thought she looked she looks sweet like this so um my title is going to be my favorite spot is here and I originally put these stickers down the alphas down and then quickly realized that um I'm not going to have enough space to go all the way across now if I spelt favorite the way that um i think you spell it differently in america i think you spell it with no u then i wouldn't have struggled but um because we have a u in favorite here um what i do is i actually pull them up and i start overlapping them in a little bit of a higgledy piggledy way and that helps me uh get all of my title squeezed in across there yep so my favorite spot is and you can't um, on the video, you can't see the um, the silver um, iridescent foiling on this very well because I've got my studio lights on, but um, in real life, they look really pretty. So I'm just going to add that little arrow on as well, just to point up to the photo. And then I'm just going to come in with um, some labels as well, which again, they coordinate with the washi and um, I want to get those used up. And um, I use two labels on this. So I use this peachy coloured arrow and that goes there. And then I also use this um, other arrow piece here. One of them is going to be for a date stamp. Um, but as I was using my phone at the time to film, then um, I didn't have my, um, I couldn't get to the date, so I will add that in afterwards. And the other one here is just going to be used for um, a tiny, tiny bit of journaling. So labels are great if you haven't really got much to say, but you just want to add a small story. So I just squeeze that in there, just saying that's her favourite spot in the house sort of thing. 
um, yeah, just pointing to where my date stamp will go. And then finally, just a few um, of these black enamel, black and peach enamel dots, just to add a little bit more interest and help with that black as well, help move that black around the page. And then this is my layout finish. I'm just going to pop it in the album. So thank you very much for joining me for episode 19. I will see you again very, very soon for another video. If you've enjoyed this, if you've enjoyed the series, then please give the video a thumbs up. Um, if you're new, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all next time. Bye.